My name is Jessica worthington Wilmer, and I'm a research scientist here in the Biodiversity and Geosciences program at the Queensland Museum and I'm also the manager of its Molecular Identities Laboratory. Now unlike the other sort of curatorial and collection management staff at the museum, I am not a specialist taxonomy studying a particular group of animals. I am a geneticist and therefore my expertise is in the generation and interpretation of DNA sequence data or just genetic data sets. Now what that means is that in the day-to-day -day reality of life as a geneticist is that we spend an awful lot of time pipetting clear liquids into clear plastic tubes. However, we are allowed out of the lab from time to time to go into the field which takes us into some fabulous exotic locations and because our expertise is in DNA and nearly all living organisms ranging from amoebas through to zebras contain DNA, we get to work on the most amazing diversity of projects. For example, some of the things that we are working on in the lab here at the moment, uh, we're looking at pycnogonids or what are called sea spiders from Antarctica. We use genetics to look at population structure of tiny little aquatic snails that live in the artesian springs of the Australian deserts. We can use DNA to detect and diagnose flesh dissolving parasitic diseases of commercially important fish species, and also to identify new species of fabulous things like leaf tail geckos. Now, if working on weird and wonderful creatures at a museum is not your particular thing or interest, then as a geneticist, the skills and knowledge base that you will attain can take you to jobs in things like a huge variety of research labs in university departments. You can go into clinical pathology laboratories in hospitals and medical research institutes. You can work in forensic science laboratories or even things like doing agricultural research projects in government agencies such as CSIRO and Department of Primary Industries. Thank you.